So to search for those emails relating to a project, I'm just going to click on this button that's down at the bottom of the side panel, and that'll open up the at Vero Mail discovery panel. So within this discovery panel, I can then go through and I can see all of the different projects that I'm a member of. Um, I can click on each one of them. I can see all of the emails that sit inside of those projects. And, and at any of those emails, I can then go through and I can click to see. So even though Kyle filed this, um, I can go through and I can see the information that's related to there. In fact, any member of any project can see the information that's sitting there unless it is a confidential email. So it might be that I want to go through and search each one of these individually and I can just look, look, look and search in there. I can also use the, the email search that's above there. Or alternatively, maybe I'm looking for um, some information across a group of different projects because it's related to, maybe it's to do with um, a tender that I'm putting in or maybe it's looking for some information um, previously on a claim. So what I'll do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to select a few different projects. So I've got the top four projects selected within there. What I'm then going to do is I'm then going to use the word fire. So what that will then allow me to do is search for the word fire across those two four projects. So now that I've got the word fire across those four projects, um, it's now showing me that I've got 27 emails that have the word fire inside of them. Now, where Vero stands out um, as, um, as a fantastic tool is not only is it searching for uh, simple information, which would be like in the subject or in the body of the email, but it's also going to search into inside of the attachment. So this in particular email that I've got highlighted here doesn't have the word fire in the body, it doesn't have it in the subject, it doesn't exist inside of there. So I know that the, the word fire exists inside of this attachment. So from here, what I can then do is I can go through and I can view that, I can preview that directly in my browser, but alternatively I could download that information so that I have that and I can access that information. So it's really powerful knowing that. Avero gives you that ability to then be able to um, choose specific terms, specific phrases, and then also then pick the projects that you want to then go through. But in addition to that, maybe now that I've picked the four different projects that I've got inside of here, um, and I've chosen the word fire, I've narrowed down to 27 emails. Maybe that's still not, um, maybe that's too, still too wide. So we also then have deeper filters that we can go into here. So you can see here that I can filter by subject from, the, from with the recipient and also dates around that. So let's say that I wanted to go through and um, and say from Kyle. So I want to see any of the emails that uh, uh, Kyle has sent. And I'm also gonna look for a particular date. So maybe I wanted to look for um, dates between the beginning of July and the end of the end of July, because that's uh, when I knew that those projects were um, on and the information. When I then go into there and apply those, that will then uh, narrow down even further so that I've got that information into the uh, these two different individual um, projects. So I've got two emails which re relate back all the way back to four different projects. The actual number of emails that sit inside of these different projects is over 10,000 different emails. So that's how quick and efficient that arrow can be in actually finding that information. So I've narrowed down on four different projects. I've then used the word fire. Um, and then I've then also gone down and I've also then uh, uh, decided to choose that filter by the individual and also by a particular date.